Let's take a look at a few problems of the current levee system and how the flood levee system that I propose can solve these problems. See, that's mud and that's the levee. This is the current levee systems all over the world. This is my system. See? Two big differences. You cover it with mud. Now, let's take a good look at them. The strongest part of the current levee system all over the world is the base or bottom, which is the weakest. The weakest is the top. The strongest part of Jim Boudreaux's system is the base or bottom, as well as the top. There is no weakest part. Same strength from bottom to top. Which one would you rather be protected by? One problem with the current levees all over the world is they are sinking. Mud has no foundation to build on. Mud falls off of the sides of the current levee system. No matter what, this is still one package. The heavier, the faster the sinking will be. Simply pour mud, more mud into the uh, section to regain original 20 foot height and strength. Mud inside is heavier than the section. This is a two part package working together with nature. That's the difference. Another problem with the current levees all over the world, there's no barriers to hold mud wedge. What I'm saying is you got to drop the mud in the water, then you got to wait a couple of years to settle. Drop a little more mud, four years, and so forth. Then you got to wait ten years for protection. That's the current levee systems all over the world. That's how they're built. While that's going on, you have no protection while being constructed. Jim Boudreaux's levee system, drop your box, anchor to pylons, put my little mud barriers, then you can use a desired width. The old system, if you go 20 foot, 30 foot, you got to have 600 foot wide. Why? That's why it takes the mud to settle. My system, you determine that because your strength is not in the mud, it's in the box. That's the difference. See how it contains it? Then you build it up. Plus, you have protection while being constructed. That's the difference. Here, you spend a lot of money and you wait 10 to 12 years for protection. Here you spend less money, and you wait one to two years while being protected. That's again, that's the difference. Which one would you rather be protected by? Still another problem with the current levees all over the world. There's no barriers against earthquakes. Now let's say an earthquake happened. See what happened to your current system? You got a tremendous problem. See the water coming through? And all of a sudden, what you going to do? How would you repair a cracked levee system? This system offers more protection against earthquakes. Which one would you rather be protected by? Still another problem with the current levees all over the world. You know what that is? There's no barriers against animal burrows. Californians, they got all kinds of problems over there. Over here, in southeast Louisiana, we got nutrients and what have you. They burrow a hole through that. What happens? Water comes through. Water comes behind. Boom, you're flooded. You can't burrow through these steel and concrete. Which one would you rather be protected by?